2018. The El Paso School District Board of Managers recently approved a big change in how they teach kids. Irvin and Franklin High School are developing a school within a school concept called New Tech. ABC 7 spoke to Lydia Dobbins, the CEO of the New Tech Network in California. She described it as 21st century style project based learning. A lot of the New Tech um, design elements include creating a culture amongst the faculty uh, and administration and district staff to really foster uh, uh, work around common um, outcomes. Dobbins told me the new tech model teaches students and teachers how to work and learn as a team. Students work in groups and have contracts and assigned roles like the workplace. Dobbins said they often encounter skepticism because of people's past experiences with group work in school. We tend to assign people to a team and expect that they know how to work together. Uh, when you incorporate collaboration and both group projects, as well as individual efforts into a school design, you're giving students a chance to learn something I never learned in school, which is what makes a highly functional group work. Since it was created almost 20 years ago, New Tech has been adopted in more than 100 schools in 25 states and the nation's capital. So adopting the New Tech model is one way the El Paso and the Isleta school districts are combating shrinking populations and trying to keep up with the education evolution. Here's my special report you'll see only on ABC7. Thanks, Ms. Simmons. The freshmen in Jennifer Simmons' biology class at Irvin are experimenting, learning how celery absorbs colored water. They're also part of an experiment, a new teaching method called flipping the classroom. In a flipped classroom... It's a lot different. It's definitely more hands-on um, as opposed to just lecturing. The teacher's lecture is made available digitally. Students listen to it at home, and the lesson is applied as a group in the classroom. It's more one-on-one -on -one with the students, more one-on-one -on -one interaction, and it's easier to better assess them and what they're understanding than just lecturing. It also means that Simmons spends less time at her desk and at the chalkboard. I hardly ever use it at all just to write down my email for the students. EPISD administrators say this classroom, with its laptops, its group work, and its hands-on learning, is an example of what will be happening daily in new tech classrooms come the fall. Folks are going to have to realize that, that in this 21st century learning, kids aren't just going to sit in rows all day. I mean, EPISD Superintendent Juan Cabrera said flipping the classroom and introducing new tech isn't about catering to the kids' attachment to technology. Our ninth, tenth graders today were born in 2000. They've never lived without a device, probably, or an email or any or technology. We're trying to get kids ready for jobs that don't even exist today, probably and for a future that, that I will not be here to see. We weren't brought up that way, but to them it's really intuitive. It, it really makes sense, uh, given that they've grown up as digital natives in a world that's far different than the world that we experienced. Isleta Superintendent Dr. Xavier de la Torre agrees with Cabrera. He cites the new tech model as a basis of his vision for the proposed reconstructed Eastwood High School. But we have to think about educating students as going beyond the walls of the school. Uh, and that is that students need to have access and an opportunity to continue their learning far beyond the normal operating hours of a school. The flipped classroom method is also in place in YSD at Eastwood Middle School, a new experience for Rubina Flores Jurado, a 15-year veteran in the class. It is very intimidating to do all the videos online. Um, however, it does take some time to get everything prepared, but at the end, if the kids are engaged and they embrace it, then we need to change our methods. If uh, we continue uh, to adhere to or be shackled to our conventional wisdom, uh, we run the risk of becoming uh, obsolete. How are, you, how are we going to apply this to our everyday life? Obsolescence is a reality as both districts battle for survival. No bones about it. I want all these Leta and Canotillo kids and Anthony kids that we can get, all the homeschool kids, all the private school kids, all the charter school kids. If you want to um, diffuse or neutralize the charter school movement, put together a better public school, uh, give parents a better option. And I think that's uh, what we're on the brink of doing. I think that's what we're on the verge of doing. Stephanie Valle, ABC7.
And early voting is underway, so residents in the YASD must decide whether to pass a $450 million bond issue, which includes $75 million to rebuild Eastwood High School. New Tech campuses will open with freshmen this coming school year at Irvine and Franklin High Schools. Cabrera says they plan to open 10 New Tech campuses over the next five years.